Hi everyone, welcome to the first WHS com committee meeting. Thanks for coming today. We have no apology and we have no guests, so we can get straight into the meeting. Item 2 on the agenda is matter arising from the previous meeting. But since this is our very first meeting, we have no previous matter to address. Once again, welcome and thanks for coming. On to Agenda 3.1. On the 11th of March, Lauren and Deborah did not check the fire extinguisher and blankets and did not check the first aid kit. It sounds like they need a refresher training course and maybe your staff as well on the hazard identification and reporting procedure, Hannah. Ian, I think you are right and Fred from, Fred from HR could do this for us. I agree. Uh, on to Agenda 3.2, Henry, are you talking about this? You are talking about this one. Thanks, Anna. On the 12th of March, Laura and Deborah did not follow the, the risk assessment and reporting procedure correctly. Slow down. They did not determine a risk score Slow down. and did not forward the risk assessment checklist to the WHS advisor and WHS committee chair. Mm, this really indicates that they need retraining urgently. And maybe they need to be considered for disciplinary action as well, Hannah. Ian, you are so right. And I will provide great information and comment. Let's get Fred from HR to do the training on the risk assessment and reporting procedure. I agree with Ian. Thanks for the great advice. On to agenda item 3.3. Ian, you wanted to discuss this. Thanks, Hannah. Yeah, so on the 19th of March, Deborah made another mistake. This time the non-compliance was to the security management and reporting procedure. Deborah failed to provide the change to the customer correctly and also did not complete the retail operation end of day banking process correctly. Deborah has repeatedly failed to comply with policies and processes. Deborah has had uh, a verbal warning relating to this incident. I agree with Ian that all staff need additional training in the relevant processes and procedures. I will volunteer to train staff on security management and reporting procedure. Good plan, I agree. On to agenda item 3.4, which is a recommendation for corrective actions. I would like to remind the members of the importance of staying compliant to the WHS regulations. Some important things to remember are before undertaking hazard identification, all staff need to be trained in the hazard identification and reporting procedure. A supervisor must sign off on the checklists that are completed by staff. Checklists need to be completed daily. All staff need to be retrained every six months to ensure that they all comply the WHS procedure correct, correctly. I think that the WHS committee should review the WHS procedure to see if there are any areas that need to be changed or improved. That's a great idea, Hannah. And, and once we have all reviewed them, I will make all the updates needed. Great thinking, Ian. Um, on to agenda item 3.5, the training plan, Ian. Let's hear more detail on this from you. Um, thanks, um, thanks uh, Anna. Um, the plan is, is uh, quite simple, really. It consists of three key areas. The committee reviews the procedures to see if they need to be changed or improved. Update the procedures following the review, and, and I, will, I will do that, um, and provide the training. Fred from HR will be providing some, and Hannah, you'll be doing the security management and reporting procedure, as you just mentioned. Thanks, Ian. Nice work. Great to have you on the committee. And on to Agenda 3.6, new business. Is there anything else you would like to discuss? Uh, I noticed a new issue yesterday. Billy always uses the wrong towel for a cleaning coffee machine. Sounds like Billy needs to be spoken to and trained on the correct cleaning process. Yes, good idea. I will take that action. 
Great, thanks Henry. Let's wrap up the meeting. Next meeting is Tuesday, 31st of March uh, at 9.30 to 10.30 at this location. Thanks again for coming, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.